Hi everyone. Almost all of you must be back in school or getting ready to start school again. Hope you all had a good holiday, did lots of things or rested nicely, had fun and enjoyed your vacation. And I hope you're ready to get back into school, learn new things, um, do more activities and also meet your friends. Right. So today I'm going to discuss um, about a certain animal. Right. So before I tell you what that animal is, I wanted to share some clues with you and let's see if you can figure it out. So the first clue about this animal is that it can easily walk just a few minutes after it is born. Right. So that's something quite surprising because we know as babies, Everyone takes some time and then starts to walk. Whereas this animal, just within minutes, it is able to walk and move about. The next clue is that it eats grass, right? This animal eats a lot of grass. And this might be giving you some idea what this animal is. And the next clue is going to make it very easy. And I'm sure you will all know what, it, what this animal is. It's an animal that gives us a lot of wool and of course we're talking about sheep right so all we know about sheep is maybe that they eat grass give wool and are quite boring animals but they have a few interesting characteristics that we don't hear about much one of it is that um, they can recognize other sheep and human faces and they remember these people for long, right? So they have good memories and they're able to recognize. Another characteristic is that they show different kinds of emotions through their facial expressions. So they're able to express themselves, right? So they um, either they smile or they frown whenever they get sad or when they are happy. So in the Bible, sheep are mentioned several times. Jesus spoke and taught the people about how he is a good shepherd and how we are all the sheep, his sheep. And even after teaching all of this, people had lots of questions to ask him. But Jesus knew that these were questions which they wanted to find fault or put him into trouble with. And here is one such passage we're going to look at today through a short video clip. It's from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 22 to 42. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered round him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me. But you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I have said you are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy, because I said I am God's Son? Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, 
Even though you do not believe me, believe the works. That you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Again they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed, and many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. So we see in the passage, right, in that situation, that the people had so many questions to ask Jesus. And Jesus also knew that they were asking it to put him into trouble. He even noticed some people were trying to stone him. Right, he remained calm through it all. He told them that he had already shown who he was. And, uh, but he also knew that these Jews expected this Messiah they were looking forward to as a person who would be powerful and come and rule over people. Right, And he knew they would not accept this. But he continued to do signs and wonders and through his actions and the way he treated people, show them who he really was and where he came from. And those who really believed and accepted that understood this, right? That's a little lesson for all of us as well, right? Sometimes we tend to think uh, that, you know, our friends should be only people who behave in a certain way. Otherwise, it's too difficult. You know, I can't get along with them. Uh, my teachers should be this kind of uh, behave in this kind of way or should be this kind of people. That then only they'll be good teachers. Or even our friends around us, sometimes we hear from other people about uh, someone else. You know, this person is like this, their character is like this. And then we also keep that idea in our minds. But let's try to look at how that person behaves, how they treat people, and try to see how we can understand them and accept them. So now in that Bible passage, there are a few important verses that I'd like to read with you uh, once more so that we understand it a little better. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe. Because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the Father are one. Okay, so we saw that it talks in the passage about sheep and the shepherd, right? So God is telling us he's the shepherd and we are all his sheep. So what does it really mean to be a sheep? Right, so from the verse we can take um, three things that Jesus tells us about what the sheep are meant to be. And we can remember that, which will help us to put it into practice. The first one is, my sheep hear my voice. Right? Um, so how do we hear God's voice? Right? We can't just sit down and say, um, God is not talking to me. I don't hear his voice. I don't know what he's telling me. We also need to get closer to God. Right? We need to get to know him study and learn about him and that's how we get close to him and hear his voice right um, so we can even start today if we haven't done it before start getting closer to god and he will start talking to us and we will really experience his voice in our lives the second thing of what it means to be a sheep is that jesus says i know them Right, so Jesus knows us, our shepherd knows each and every one of us and he wants to have a relationship with us, a friendship, 
right, where we talk to him and uh, bring him all our troubles, discuss things, that kind of a relationship he wants to have with us, right, and so that we know who we belong to, that we are children of his, and uh, that will help us when we are facing any kind of situation as well, right, we know who we belong to, we are his children so whatever problem or worry we take it to him we discuss and talk about it and we will definitely be able to handle those situations as well the third thing is they follow me so when we are sheep we need to follow the shepherd right that means we obey him and we try to put into practice all that he teaches right we need to become more and more like jesus so always remember like are we doing things just because everyone is doing it because it's new popular or are we also doing it because we know that something jesus would want us to do if we are stuck in a tricky situation and not sure what decision to make try and think of um if Jesus was in this situation, what would he do? Or what would he want me to do in this? Would he be happy with this choice or decision I'm taking? Right, and that would help us to make sure we are following the right way. So let's keep these things in mind as we are trying to be sheep with our good shepherd, right? Hearing his voice, knowing that he knows us and we belong to him and following him. Um, so to remember all this, there's a small activity um, that I have to share with you today, right? Um, it's a word search puzzle. I know it's uh, not as easy when it's on a screen. It's easier when it's on paper and you have a pen. But unfortunately, that's not possible here. But let's try and do it while it's on the screen itself. If you like, you can get someone or you can take a picture of it and try and do it later. But I will share it here for a few moments so you can try and see the words that you can spot out. It's not very difficult, all short words. And then later on, I will share the words also circled out so you can see which ones were the correct ones. All right, that was the puzzle. It had 15 words, right? It goes across or up to down. Now I'll show you the screen with the words marked out. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Let's close with a short prayer. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are our good shepherd. Help us to remember what it is to be your sheep. Help us, Lord, to hear your voice and um, get into a strong friendship with you, Lord, so that we can follow you in every situation in our lives. We pray and commit the coming week into your hands, Father. We ask all this in your precious name. Amen. Have a good week.